Hello all. Welcome to the learning series on SOC, SIEM, and SOAR tutorial series. In this video, we shall understand SIEM log aggregation process, that is how does SIEM tool collects the logs from various log sources. Let's get started. Recently we learned that, organizations use SIEM tools to identify security incidents, log security data, manage incident response, and generate reports for compliance. SIEM tools can help organizations detect threats, that individual security systems cannot see, investigate past security incidents, perform incident response, and prepare reports for regulation and compliance purposes. SIEM platforms collect log and event data from security systems, networks and computers, and turn it into actionable security insights. Log aggregation is the process of collecting logs from multiple computing systems, parsing them and extracting structured data, and putting them together in a format that is easily searchable and explorable by modern data tools. There are four common ways to aggregate logs. Many log aggregation systems combine multiple methods when deployed. First, we can collect logs via syslogs. Syslog is a standard logging protocol. Network administrators can set up a syslog server, that receives logs from multiple systems, storing them in an efficient, condensed format can be easily queried later. Also the log aggregators can directly read and process syslog data. Second. We can do it via event streaming. Protocols like SNMP, NetFlow, and IPFIX allow network devices to provide standard information about their operations, which can be intercepted by the log aggregator, parsed and added to central log storage. Next, logs can be collected via log collectors. These are software agents, that run on network devices, capture log information, parse it and send it to a centralized aggregator component for storage and analysis. Last way to access logs are through direct access. Log aggregators can directly access network devices or computing systems, using an API or network protocol to directly receive logs. This approach requires custom integration for each of the data source in your network. I hope the content was useful. Please don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.